guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Shiny. I hope all of you are doing great. So today's makeup is all about one brand tutorial. I'm going to use and try the brand colors in for the first time. Uh, I never use this brand, but I got a gift from my own aunt and. Uh, I thought let's uh, try it out and try it out in front of you guys so let's see how it works and uh, I'm really hopeful because they have quite uh, like you know, a wide range of uh, good lipsticks which I really like I'm so sorry like which I really like and uh, let's see how it works I received one uh, compact one uh, foundation couple of blushes and the one uh, eyeshadow palette so let's see how it works and uh, let's quickly jump into the video so guys for prepping I'm going to stick to my own moisturizer and lip balms and uh, I didn't receive any primer from them so uh, I'm going to stick to my very favorite Nykaa Prep Me Up primer this is a beautiful primer it uh, literally uh, closes all my open pores so well so yes so moving on to the foundation I received this uh, in the shade LF1 beige I don't think this is of my shade my exact shade but uh, let's see let's try it out uh, uh, I can build it up uh, later on if it is too uh, lighter than my own shade so guys I took this much and this is a really thick uh, foundation I I'm hoping that they are gonna give a very you know full coverage they, here it is written complete coverage so let's see I am hoping that they're gonna give a full coverage because of foundation is way too thick like you know MAC foundation but let's see the quality guys this uh, shade is little I think uh, lighter than my own shade but uh, I'm not so happy with the foundation it seems very cakey I mean uh, it's very hard to blend even plus uh, it, it seems like that I've applied foundation it, it's not skin like it is very cakey and it's Actually, it's very thick and uh, I'm feeling very heavy on my skin uh, it's 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 making me feel like that I'm wearing something which uh, I don't feel in any other foundation but uh, let's see how it works but guys uh, I don't want to go out from my house like this I mean looking like this like uh, you know that I have uh, applied so much makeup obviously i want my face to look a uh, little you know skin like and if this generation is more into no makeup makeup look so definitely this uh, foundation is making me feel that i've applied can you guys see how it it's very bad guys i'm so sorry to say sorry color essence it is so hard to blend i'm using my maximum pressure to build it to blend it sorry but uh, it's not at all blending can you guys see how is it and it's getting dried off very very fast like uh, as soon as you apply you have to blend it or else it's very hard to blend 
later on it's very hard to blend uh not so happy with the foundation this is not my foundation for sure i'm not going to use it i'm feeling happy now that i didn't spend a single penny <laughs> this it's so hard to blend guys it's it's really this is not something worth it i believe I don't know how much is it visible in the camera, but can you guys see the condition? I mean, I don't know how is it looking uh, on screen, but uh, here I can see literally like you know, just get the makeup thopna foundation thopna like that. I'm looking like I I tried a lot to blend it. It's so sticky on my face. Ah, uh, it's it's very sticky. I I always uh, like my go-to foundations are like Fit Me and Mac. Uh, so generally, I use Fit Me always. Uh, but if I'm going to any marriage or like an occasion, then I use uh, Mac. But uh, this foundation, oh my God, it, it's so horrible. I mean, I can literally. in the pain here like i was using uh, like my optimum pressure to blend it but uh, it was not blending it, it's not at all blendable plus it's so sticky it's not at all smooth like uh, it is so uncomfortable on skin it's very uncomfortable on skin it's not at all i i do not like i don't like this type of foundation at all and i'm not going to recommend this Okay, guys. Now moving on to the compact. Uh, no shade here is written. It's only written uh, quantity 10 gram, article number, and the price. Uh, that's it. Expiry date, manufacturing date, and uh, yeah, that's all. No shade is written. Uh, above it is written high definition mineral makeup color essence. This much. So. like this and it comes with a puff and you have a very fashionable mirror here which is really good the mirror quality is very good but uh, anyways i am very uh, disappointed with the foundation actually my it, it's going on in my mind so let's see let's try the compact here the compact quality is not that bad uh, it is good it is really good and uh, it gives you good coverage also so i like the compact compact is fine for me so guys i don't have any contour stick or a contour powder uh, from color essence so i contoured my face with my regular sugar uh, contour uh, and uh, yeah so now i'm going to move on to the blush unfortunately i see two blush but uh, of two same shades and uh, as you can see yes so and as usual there is no shade mentioned like the compact uh, just the pigmented 5 uh, g quantity manufacturing date and all this uh, that's all but uh, let's see how the compact works uh, sorry the blush works now so guys the blush looks very pigmented uh, it's a like it's a pink color like you know uh, what to say a little uh, copper type pink so i will go very light handed because it looks very pigmented i don't want something disaster to happen on my face so let's see it looks pigmented but uh, let's see how it works not that pigmented as the color but uh, it's fine it's still fine and apply on the apples of my cheeks okay not as pigmented as i thought but uh, still it will give you a like a fresh 
glow on your face and uh, you're looking young. Not bad guys. I, I I like the blush. I like the blush. I don't like the blush. But uh, it's okay. I will apply the compact to reduce this. Else, uh, yeah, the blush is fine. I received another product which I completely forgot to mention is the Kajal. Uh, this is the Color Essence Kajal. It's uh, it looks really good I have never used uh, any kajal in this lipstick format so I'm very excited to use this let's see how it works wow this is nice this is really good this kajal is really good I have always used colossal or uh, Lakme iconic kajals but uh, I think I got a good replacement now. The kajal is really good. I am a kajal obsessed person and uh, every time when I buy kajal, I buy two or three because I don't have kuch kaam chalta nahi hai. So I think this is a really good one. So guys, I did my eyebrows off camera with uh, the Miss Claire eyebrow pencil because uh, Colorisons don't have any eyebrow kit so I had to do this with other brand so yeah. So guys, now I'll move on to eyeshadow. So I don't have a concealer hence I will use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer on my eyes to give it a base. guys this is a palette of three uh, shadows uh, and I am going to use this uh, brown color as my transition shade just on the crease of my eyes eyelid is it pigmented you guys see any color Let me put some more, take some more product. I think now I can see some colors at least. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, now with a small uh, fluffy brush. Uh, okay, the first brush I use is from London Pride. Uh, this is a big fluffy brush and now I'm using a small fluffy brush. To, this is from Miniso and uh, I'm taking this color. And I'm gonna use it here. Shadow palette is really not that pigmented. Uh, I have to put pressure, then I'm getting the color. This is very chalky for me. I mean, not so happy with the eyeshadow palette, and uh, it's very chalky. I mean, uh, can you see 
there is actually I tried to create a transition shade and in between I have left some space so that I can put this color but uh, it's actually nothing is happening as such as I wanted. Now it's still better. Yeah. Now it is little better, little presentable. And uh, okay, guys, I'm done with both of my eyes. Uh, I think it is little chalky, else uh, fine, uh, cool enough, but uh, little chalky. Okay, guys. Now coming to my favorite part, and that is lipsticks. I received three lipsticks. Uh, one is of shade H211 uh, Bombshell. Such a pretty red, guys. See, it's a it's an amazing bridal red. Wow, I love the color. Can you guys see? Yeah. Another I received uh, 104 Fujia Pink. So, wow, another amazing color. Here it is. It, it, it has like you know few shimmery particles, but uh, it's okay. Yeah. I mean the color is just so lovely. Another one which I received is 207 Breeze Gleam. Uh, wow, another lovely color. The colors are so unique, right? Okay, this is a good uh, nude color. Guys, I'm so sorry. I received one more lipstick, and it's of this color. Isn't it amazing? I love this kind of brown. You know, this is a very bold color, and uh, I love wearing bold colors. It looks very smart. Amazing color. I actually love all the four colors. With this look, I think I should go with this one. I think that would be better. Mm -hmm. So that is, so uh, I think, uh, not for here. Yeah. Breeze Gleam. As I told, it's a nude color. Not bad. I really like it. Not bad. Nice. Okay, so give this a little pop I have received this also uh, this is a lip gloss from color color essence and I think this is uh, what's the shade again no shade mentioned or what sweet pink okay sweet pink glossy it's uh, it's 
pigmented, it's glossy, it's it's, it's an amazing product again. Uh, sweet pink, the shade is sweet pink. So I haven't received any highlighter from the brand Color Essence, but I think they have one. I think. Uh, powder highlighter or a liquid highlighter i'm not so sure but uh, i didn't receive so i'm going to use the eyeshadow palette only let's see how it works as a highlighter so i'm going to take a small brush and cover my inner corner okay this palette is really not pigmented so color is really not showing up okay now now it's there I think yes so I'm gonna highlight my brow bone okay, I have to take a lot of product guys uh, then only then only I can build some color guys uh, one more thing uh, I told that this kajal is really good this kajal initially worked really good when I applied it on my eyes on my waterline but as you can see it started smudging yeah it started smudging so this is not a smudge proof uh, kajal at all but uh, I literally thought that and I expected this kajal to be good uh, I just applied it on my waterline and I can hardly see anything on my waterline now nothing is there literally everything is just coming out yeah I didn't apply anything on this part this portion but still I can see now kajal is there I mean you can understand so I think I have to say a no to the kajal even like the foundation so other products are good uh, I think the lipstick and blush and uh, I think the compact is really good but uh, eyeshadow is not that pigmented you have to work really hard uh, like you have to take a lot of product then only you can use it else uh, the face is not looking that bad uh, but I'm really not happy with the foundation till now and and uh, another like my favorite till now I think is uh, this gloss my lips are shining oh my god I so love my lips now and the lipsticks like all the lip colors I love all the four lip colors they are bomb literally and the even the blush is also good it's looking good on me and uh, so just my eyes oh my god it's like my eyes are bleeding so apart from the kajal and uh, foundation i think uh, yeah it's a it's a good brand uh, if you are a beginner or uh, you are using makeup for the first time and uh, like then i think it's it's a good thing if you are a college going girl uh, you have less budget then i think uh, this uh, products are really affordable for you but uh, if you know makeup well then I don't think this is something which you should uh, invest on and uh, you can get good foundation affordable foundation like fit me uh, but uh, I will say a no to the foundation uh, because uh, it, it really worked very bad okay guys that's all for today I just opened my hair to let you guys see how it's looking how is the final look uh, yeah so uh, if you guys liked my video then do hit the like button and if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe my channel keep loving me as you all are doing and uh, keep commenting and uh, let me know that what makeup should I do next in my video and uh, what all you want me to do like do for you guys. So
so i'd be very happy receiving your requests i already received few requests like no makeup makeup look so i will be doing that for sure and uh, yeah so let's see when i can do it but uh, i'll do it for sure guys and uh, yeah so that's all bye take care and uh, love you all